Hello guys, welcome back to another Android Firebase tutorial. In the last episode, we already learned about how to receive Firebase data messages when your application in the background. In this video, we are going to learn about how to receive Firebase data messages when your application in the foreground. In order to receive a Firebase data messages in a foregrounded Android app, you need to create a class that extends Firebase messaging services. So here I am going to create a new class with class name FCM messaging service and this class extends Firebase messaging service for receive the data messages we need to override a method called on message received now we need to add this service into the Android manifest.xml go to Firebase console Uh, go to the documentation select the Android starter guide uh, select cloud messaging uh, set up an Android client uh, we need to add this service into the Android manifest.xml so open your Android manifest.xml and add a new service specify the class name here the class name is FCM messaging service now specify an indent filter for the service now specify an action now go to the Firebase documents here this is the indent filter action name so copy this one and paste it here now we can handle the data messages inside the FCM messaging services so from this method we can handle the data messages first here we need to check some condition first we have to check whether there is a data available with the firebase notification so remote message dot get data dot size is greater than zero that means there is some data available with the notification in that case we can receive the data so there is two path for the data title and a message body so first we can receive the title get data and pass the key for it here the key is title now get the second data message and here the key is message okay now we need to transfer this data to the activity so in our activity main.xml there are two text views the first two text view will display the title for the message and its second text view will display the message body so now we need to transfer the data from the service to this activity so the solution is we can broadcast this data and we need to receive the data from the activity main.xml so for broadcasting this data we need some indent variable so here I declare an indent object for this indent we need some indent filter name uh, open your Android manifest.xml from that file copy your application package name uh, 
uh, paste it here uh, with some additional value I specify that one as FCM message now here I'm going to broadcast this intent so here I'm going to use the local broadcast manager so if you are using a local broadcast manager you can make sure that your data is not available for any other application so by using a local broadcast manager you can ensure the data security so here I'm going to use a local broadcast manager get instance and pass the context now we can broadcast the intent using this local broadcast manager and pass the intent so before the before broadcast the intent we need to add the data to the intent object so intent dot put extra first data is title specify a key for it now pass the data now pass the second data key is message and pass the data okay so now from the service we broadcast the data using an intent object now we need to receive this data from the main activity so go to main activity dot java so the first thing we need to specify a handler for receive the broadcast data so here the handler is a broadcast receiver so the first thing we need to specify a broadcast receiver for handling the data I name it as M handler so we can receive the data within this method called on receive now we can register this activity for receive this broadcast and we can register inside the on create method so here it is a lock broadcast manager pass the context and call the method called register broadcast register receiver so the first argument is the handler here it is M handler now you need to specify the intent filter and here specify the intent filter go to the service and copy this intent filter now from the on post method we need to unregister the receiver so you need to override on post method so from this method we need to and register the broadcast receiver so local broadcast manager dot get instance and call the method and register receiver and pass the handler here it is M handler now we can handle the message so here the data available with this intent object now we can get the data from the intent intent dot get string extra and pass the key first one is title now get the second data and pass the key for it here it is message now we can display the data so first we need to display the title now display the message
Now we can test the application. So now I'm going to run this application. Okay, now the application available on this virtual device. So the first thing we need to get the FCM registration token. So we can get the FCM registration token from the LockCat window. Here is the FCM registration token. So I copy this one. Now go to Firebase console. Select your project. Select notifications. And create a new message. Enter message here. you have a message and send in into a single device and here you need to provide the FCM registration token and select the advanced options here specify a title for the notification new message arrived now we need to specify the data first specify the title for the data here the title is from Prabish. Now specify the message. So here the key is message and specify a value for it. So before going to send the message, now here I am going to put the application in the background. Now send the message. Send it. Now here we got a notification on this device and here is the FCM notification new message arrived and here is the message you have a message and if I click this one it will open the launcher activity and here is the message from Prabish that is the title and here is the message body now I clear this application from the device memory now I open that application again now the application in the foreground. Now I am going to send the data messages again. So duplicate that message. And here I'll change this one into good evening. Now send it again. Now send it. And here now you can see that now the data arrived on this application and the application is in the foreground. Now try to duplicate the message again. From Rupesh. How are you? Change the message and send it again. Now here the data change. This is how we send data messages into a background and foreground Android application using Firebase. I hope you understand the concepts. To get more Firebase Android tutorial updates, please subscribe my channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.